Hey guys, welcome to this little tutorial in which I will show you how to use the live stream function of YouTube together with OBS in a few simple steps. It's really not that hard, you don't have to worry about it. So the two things that you need is your web browser and OBS. I leave you the links for OBS in the comments below. It's a free program. It's fantastic. I really love it. It has many, many applications. Um, for example, streaming, but also recording videos and tons of other features that are really cool. So go get it. And once you have it, you want to go over to this little icon and then go to Creator Studio. And then go ahead and go to live streaming and then go to start now. The good thing is I just opened this new channel for my mastering website. So um, I'm you're having the genuine experience of somebody who is using it for the first time. Um, so what you have to do is, of course, fill out everything that you want here. Uh, also, in order that your video is more visible and um, choose everything from the categories um, if you want to share it public or not etc and just fill out all your stuff this is a, a tutorial video punk 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 etc pp but now comes the point that is very important and that is the server URL and the stream key. The stream key especially is terribly sensitive and you should not share it because other people could access it and do some bad things with it potentially so don't share it, never show it. Um, next thing you want to do is go to OBS and you open up a scene or there will be open the first scene automatically and then you click on the plus sign here and you choose um, whatever you want to do. The, the, let's say okay you want to capture your display and make a live stream like that. So we would choose display capture and video capture device for the camera or just display capture. Let's, let's keep it simple for this time just display capture. You click on it and then you will have this thing opening up and here you can actually choose the display that you want to screen cap capture and you can choose if you want to capture the cursor as well. So once you have your image going you can add a lot of more things as for example you could add a logo as I do right now or you could add a ton of other things, but that would be a topic for another video. What is really important is that you get your stream going. So um, I'm not focusing on the settings. OBS will ask you on the first time when you open it if it should be optimized for streaming or for recording. Uh, obviously choose streaming and then you want to go to this stream page and then here you can either use YouTube or you could also use custom streaming server and then just type in the URL from your YouTube key and use it like that but you could also use it in this way. So server primary YouTube ingest server and then we go to our page and now we go ahead and grab that key I'm going to do that quickly down here. Grab that key. And put it inside here. And then hit apply. So once you have done that, you are ready to go. You can put your OBS at, at the side on another screen, for example, as I did just now. Um, and then all you have to do is hit start streaming and it will start streaming to your YouTube account. That's it. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. 
Um, I hope that I could help you with this video. If I did so, then please be so kind and leave a like. Um, also subscribe to the channel. But um, this helps us out tremendously, especially since we just started our new YouTube channel just for the Android Mastering page. So also be sure to head over to androidmastering.com for anything about mastering. We uh, cover several different topics there. We will have tutorials and of course we have our great online mastering service and online mixing service. And um, I hope to see you soon. Hope that I could help you. Have a good day. Bye bye.